Uh, I'll show you how to upload your patient's self x-rays into NLICEF and how to run analysis on them. So let's uh, start with logging into the system. Uh, your first screen is uh, patient's list. And uh, we what we need to do is create a patient. So let's start a new case and enter patient information. Once we create the patient information, we can proceed to the, the case detail for that patient. And in this screen, this screen lets us uh, upload the x-rays and setting the calibration. So let's upload the x-ray itself. Select the date the x-ray was taken. Choose the image of the x-ray from your computer and click save to upload. Once the CEP is uploaded, what you would need to do is uh, set the calibration to let the software know how many pixels are in one millimeter. By clicking set calibration, we'll get to the calibration editor screen. Notice how the, by the cursor there is a um, black rectangle with the prompt that tells you the steps that you need to do. In this case, it says mark the start of the calibration ruler. So let's find our calibration ruler and mark the start of it. And then mark end of the calibration ruler. We'll find the end of the calibration ruler and uh, mark the end of it. And let's just confirm that the bar length is 10 millimeters. And this is the 10 millimeter bar. And that's it. Let's uh, click save. Go back to our patients list and find the patient that we are working on. Uh, Rhonda wears case detail. Now we are able to choose different analysis. And let's choose width analysis. And click run. And uh, you'll notice that the interface is similar to the one that's uh, for uh, calibration and we again have this prompt here and the prompt says mark the occlusal line posterior point uh, let's mark the occlusal line of the posterior point let's mark the occlusal line of the anterior point and let's mark point A let's mark point B and uh, this table shows you all the parameters that are uh, relevant for that particular analysis. And uh, you can see that the norm for WITS analysis and the patient's uh, parameter. Let's save this work. And we can also save and download, uh, which will generate a as a PDF document, which you could use offline or uh, keep it for your records. In this screen, we can also uh, jump to different analysis, Ricketts, Steiner, or Jefferson, and uh, run those analysis on this patient as well. And hopefully this presentation helped you. Thank you.